Hi everyone, hope everyone's doing well and I hope you're enjoying your weekend wherever you are. So the reason I'm making this video is because a lot of the clients that come to see me but also just in general conversations on Facebook or just in person, a lot of people tend to spend their time focusing on where their relationship is heading or where their relationship has been and there's a lack of focus on for the relationship as it is the present moment so what I want to talk about in this video is the idea that a good relationship is made up of lots of positive moments so what I mean by that is that many couples as I said focus on the future so they're thinking they never I think there is this tendency to you can't believe how good it's going so either you can't believe how good it's going so you have to try and hold on to that feeling by saying when are we going to um, get married when are we when am I going to meet your parents um, let's plan for two years time from now when are we moving in together so it's like a panicky type thing because if everything's going well naturally things will go in the right direction for both of you but sometimes couples can't believe it's going well the second issue is if a couple if a relationship isn't going well so if it's really bad um, could be abusive it could be just arguing all the time then people either focus on the past, remember when it used to be like this, remember when we used to be really good, or the reason we're having arguments all the time is because of the affair you had two years ago. So they can't focus on currently what it is that's upsetting them. So all I want to say to people really is creating positive moments together means you store up those moments to refer back to when things are not going well. So everyone's probably heard this concept of making deposits um, so I use the analogy of when you make deposits in a bank and you keep saving, you know, into your savings account, there could be a time where you have no money in your current account. So you've used up all your money, but you still have the reserve, which is the savings that you've got. So you can then transfer some of the savings into your um, current account and there's no issue. So if you create lots of positive memories and lots of positive moments with your partner, when things are going really bad and you're arguing, both of you can then refer back to those positive memories and think, do you know what, we're arguing at the moment, but we've been solid for six months. You know, we're arguing right now in this moment and I don't like my partner right now, but look at all these memories we've created. So there is something there between us. So it's really about the more positive memories you can create, the easier it is then when things are going wrong for you to revert back to. Um, how things are so you're not blowing things out of perspective you're not saying because we're arguing in this current moment it means everything's wrong with the relationship because we're not getting on at the moment it means I need to end the relationship because there's no intimacy between us right now we're never going to get back to having a sexual relationship so you always have to focus on the current moment but in the case where things are not going bad that is the time when you can refer back to the past so Focusing on the present moment means you are living in the moment. It means that you are creating a better connection because you, everything that's happening is to do with how are we right now. So you, those moments where you're just sitting on the sofa holding hands together, those moments where you're just talking about the good times, where you're having fun, where you're just bantering, where there's so much going on, you just focus on that. You don't say, um, oh, now that we're in a good mood, and <laughs> now that I've got my partner in a good mood, let's start talking about... Um, you know all these people he likes on Instagram or now that we're settled and we're comfortable in bed together now's the time to start talking about um, the future that's where people make the mistake they do not focus on the current moment they're too busy and what that does is that neglects um, you the opportunity to just be just be a couple just be together just have have faith and confidence that wherever this relationship is leading, it's going to go there. It feels much more natural. I've done this myself in relationships. There's times where I've just tried to push the relationship forward too much. When am I going to meet your parents? I've not said it in that way, but the vibe I'm giving to the person is, we've been together this amount of time now, I've not met your parents. We've been together this amount of time, I've not met your friends. When, am I, when are you going to come over and stay at mine? Lots of things. And it what it does is it puts pressure on the other person. They start to think, well, what's what's wrong with just living in the moment? Things are going right now. Things are okay between us. Why is she bringing that up? Where's that come from? So I learned to like lean back a little bit in my relationships. And just the key thing is every interaction, every time I met up with the person, 
make it a positive interaction. That is the key thing I want people to take from this message. When you start dating, or even if you've been married or in a relationship for a long time, try to um, position yourself where every interaction you have together can be positive, build up those um, you know, connections. But when you do have negative interactions, so sometimes you will fall out or have disagreements, try to resolve them so that you are still living in the present. So that's um, all I can say really. The only other thing I wanted to say is longer lasting relationships I've wrote here are built when individuals decide to make every interaction or moment between them honest, loving, positive and memorable because then you build up this connection that can't be broken. So that's all I want to say to people really. I hope you found this video useful. Please feel free to leave your comments. Let me know if you can relate to what I'm saying in the video. I love to hear people's feedback. Also, don't forget to like, to share and to subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Speak to you all soon. Bye.